I should say. We're heading off to the site of a, an old medieval uh, chapel. It's supposed to have been joined with a well. It's a holy well with healing powers. Back in them days, that's what they believed. But uh, that's where we're heading today, so I'm on my way to pick up uh, Magpie 307. And we've got a short journey to get to the, to the area. Now the only problem is, there'll be muck spreading, so we're not sure what to expect. Expect. The grass is quite long, but we're going to have to see when we get there actually. But, uh, yep, on the way over, pick them up, straight there, and uh, I'll tell you a bit more about it when we're there. Right, we've just arrived at the side. Yeah. And uh, grass is better than we thought, especially with two fields. It's one either side of that gate there, and uh, and this one. Now we've got the both the fields. We've got permission on both of these fields, so we're uh, going to get all the equipment out of the car and head off down to the bottom of the other one. Start off, and we may end up in this one later on. Now the the, the date of the uh, church and the well uh, go back to around the 1100s. So we may have some good finds here. Uh, I think the church was ordered to be to, to be demolished, so uh, no one's ever found the foundations of it. But there's a spring there that leads down, and there's a spring over in the other field, so there's two possibilities. Right, enough talk. Let's, uh, let's get this stuff out of the car, and let's head off, head off down the field. All right, just before we start, didn't have a good night's sleep, not feeling too good, so... Uh, I think we're going to have one of these man flu uh, <laughs> sweets. <laughs> Instant energy. Just tastes like, um, what's that stuff, sherbet-y sort of... Uh, <laughs> Let's give it a go. I think Magpie's going to have one. <laughs> I haven't got man flu, but uh, I'll give it a go anyway. Here we are, look. That's what they look like. <laughs> you know what they taste like, I don't know, but there we are. Uh, we may as well have a go. It's going to be a long day, I think. Oh, I like lemon sherbet. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> I'm right for the day now then. <laughs> right, let's get on and see what we can find here. Well, we've got the first signal. I've only been going for a minute or so. And, uh, well, it's given a nickel signal. It's not great, but uh, given the circumstances, we'll dig anything. Uh, there we go. Tom back button. Or, uh, yeah, that's nice. That's not a bad first find. I think that shows this place hasn't been hunted. Usually these are uh, the first things to be found. From around the, uh, late 16, 1700s, late um, mid to the mid-1700s that way, so. It's a bit later than what we're looking for, but there we go, not bad. Right, we're on to another find, so it's again another nickel, so it could very well be another button. What have we got here? Well, that looks nice. Not sure what that is. Looks interesting. You can see the patterns on it. Looks medieval to me. You can see there's uh, straight lines going down there. Might have been part of a bracelet or something. Interesting. All right, let's bag it. Have a look and see if we can find out what that is later. All right. Let's well, that's another interesting piece. I think it's lead. I think they probably had a piece coming up on the top here at one point. No idea what it's for. Interesting, though. See if we can find out what that is as well. 
I'm sure we're going to have a lot of uh, strange finds from this site. There's uh, a lot of coal here. So um, we're digging that up a lot as well. Which is uh, making it exhausting to be honest. But uh, there we go. That's the next find. We'll bag that one. We'll move on. See if we can head off a little bit down that way. Well, there's my first coin. Unfortunately, it's a blank disc again, undateable. Don't think there's a shank in there or anything. It's um, it's completely worn. Can't see a thing on that, I'm afraid. Wind's starting to pick up a bit here now. Starting to get a bit cold. All right, let's bag that one and uh, let's hope we find something dateable for this area. Right, well we've just moved along, so now we're back over to this point now. This is the second position where they said to have maybe been some ruins from a medieval chapel. And I've just come up to this part. This is my first find. No idea what that is, but it's worth taking home. So we'll scout around down here now and see what we can find here. Get back to you on the next one. Right, I've got the smallest of finds, as you can see there, a tiny little button, very small, smaller than the five pence piece, it's tiny, it goes all that way down, <laughs> that's a long way down, there you go. no markings or anything in it. Can't flip it over to you and have a look. It's very, very small. Strange how I picked it up all that way down. There we go. There's not much coming up here either. In around this patch. I'm going to head off down to the tree in a minute. See if there's anything there. Alright, let's fill this hole in. And let's move. Well, that's the next find. I think it's a button. I think the shank is completely broken off, but you can just see some gild there. Just a little piece there left. The other side's flat. I would have said that was probably more more of a button than a coin. I've got to say, there's not many finds coming up here. With uh, as much medieval history as this, I'd expect there to be quite a few finds. There's an old, uh, I think it's a cast iron um, water wheel in there. That's quite old. If I get a chance later on, I might head up in there and have a quick look. But uh, I'm here for doing a bit of metal detecting, so I've got to find something before we go back. Right, let's crack on. There we go, that's the next one. Nice little D bottle there. Very nice. Nice to have a buckle for a change. Maybe another piece on the other side that might have snapped off. But, uh, ah, it's not bad. There we go, a buckle. Good, let's pop that to one side. Right, just got something now, we're back in the original field. That other field is just nothing. Now, I'm getting more finds here. As you can see, I just found a little coin there. Probably undateable. Yeah, so another undateable coin. I have got hundreds of these. They just don't survive these harsh conditions now. We've got a lot of rain here. They spread muck on the field, it's got acid in it. And the coins just don't, uh, they just don't last. Oh well. Oh, I've got to say, 
not been a not been a great day. But there we go. What can we do? So I'm back around here now. See what we can find. I hope to come away with something decent, but uh, at the moment it's looking bit pretty bleak. Anyway, let's bag this one and uh, fill the hole in. Carry on. All right, everybody. I think we're going to call it a day. There's not much coming up here at all. We've scouted up and down this field for the last hour, and uh, a few bits of lead, lumps of coal. No finds at all, really. So, uh, very disappointing day, to be honest. After all the research and after all the, the phoning around and gaining permission, we really thought we'd find something here. Oh well, um, we may come back. The grass is a bit shorter, maybe we'll uh, reveal a few more finds. I think this has been ploughed quite a bit in the past, so... Right, anyway, we're ending the video here. So, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Sorry I didn't find much of anything, any uh, interest really, but... Uh, oh well, that's the way things go, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for watching.